um, have learned early in life the lesson of carpe diem, seize the day, uh, never regretting, uh, not, you know, to having to not take an advantage of an opportunity. An opportunity knocks all the time. But whether or not, you know, we have the um, uh, ability, the courage to, you know, answer it is what makes all the difference. And I was on a plane to um, France to visit a friend of mine. I had cashed in some frequent flyer mileage and, and saw the president of CBS, who I had known because I did a short-lived series and a few failed pilots. And uh, so I said, Jeff, and he said, Fran, and I ran into the bathroom to put some makeup on. <laughs> and I'm powdering my face and saying, you know, carpe diem, carpe diem. And then uh, when I came out, uh, he had, you know, I had nine and a half hours, basically, to work this, uh, you know, fortuitous events and where is he going to go coach <laughs> very often cancers at their earliest and most curable stages uh, mimic far more benign illnesses like mine but the woman with ovarian cancer which is much more aggressive than uterine cancer is often misdiagnosed for irritable bowel syndrome when I meet a woman that says I have IBS, I say, honey, I hope that's what you got. But for a minute, step away from your gastroenterologist and go to your gynecologist and rule out ovarian cancer because that is a disease that you do not want to be misdiagnosed about. 80% of all women with ovarian cancer will find out in the late stages, and over 70% of them will die. The keynote speaker at the National Press Conference, which is very exciting, and I also spoke this morning for the uh, Clinical Research Federation, which all is very on point with what I'm doing as the president and visionary of the Cancer Schmancer Movement, and we're dedicated to ensure that all cancers get diagnosed in stage one when it's most curable, because we believe stage one is the cure.